Installation movie of products ALU 30 from the outside of the compartment. First of all, you will start by checking the content of the parcel by numbering each item one by one. In the case of ALU 30, your box is composed of the following elements. A pair of tracks, a packet of accessories, a roller, a waterproof top seal, a pre-assembled shutter. You will also find some possible options chosen at the time of ordering in the form of profiles content in the box or mounted onto the shutter elements. Drip channel, sill, pull strap, interior unlocking, light switch, electric locking, LED lighting system. Installation. If you have chosen the sill option, you must start by installing it in your opening. Take your tracks as well as your side panel to check and to spot their positions in the compartment. In case of overlapping tracks as displayed on the screen, the side panel must be installed after the tracks for the vertical position and then set 9mm back from your header for the horizontal position. If you have chosen the standard tracks, you just need to position the side panel in the track grooves provided. Once you have found the right position, you just need to fix the side panel on the mounting of the opening in the three drillings indicated on the screen. We have previously taken care to stiffen a possible gap in the side panels by placing a stiffener of the same width as the mounting of the opening. Now you must determine the position of the roller support on the side panels. To obtain the vertical position, you must measure the radius of your rolled up shutter and compare it with the available space between the centre of the side panels and the top of the compartment. To simplify the task, you can use this formula. If the radius of the rolled up shutter plus 20mm is inferior or equal to the distance between the centre of the side panel and tall roof, then the best adapted position will be in the centre of the drillings. In the other case, you have multiple drillings for adjustment. To obtain the horizontal position, do the same thing with this formula. Distance between the roller supports and the wheel drillings is superior or equal to the radius rolled up shutter plus 20mm, plus 40mm for ALU 30 or plus 50mm for ALU 40. Now, you just need to fix the roller support onto the side panel in its final position. Take the necessary accessories for the installation of the wheel onto the side panels. Bolt, steel spacer, plastic spacer, nut, ring, and assemble them as displayed on the screen. Prepare the essential accessories and tools needed for the installation and choose the best adapted position for your installation among the three possibilities A, B or C. The dimension of your header will determine the position of the wheel. Its fixing drilling must never be under the base of your header. The ideal wheel position is the lowest possible one. Careful, the shutter mustn't clinch the entry of the track when manoeuvring. When you have found the optimal position, fix the wheel elements with the help of the nuts and the remaining ring. If you haven't chosen the drip channel option, you must now install the waterproof top seal. For this film, we have opted for the installation with drip channel option, which will be shown at the end. You are now able to install the shutter in your compartment. To help you, we advise you to prepare your shutter as it is displayed on the screen, taking care to let a big part of the top of the shutter lap overlap. Next, slide the whole shutter, starting with the top of the shutter, against the wheel until the last slat jams against your header. At present, you are in the right position to assemble the shutter to its roller. Take this and fix it to the shutter with the aid of the tube fastenings, taking care to check the direction of the assembly. As a reference, the label on the roller should always be placed to the right of the shutter when seen from the inside of the compartment. Once this operation has been done, slide the shutter against the wheel again to lodge the roller square in its roller support previously installed on the side panels. Next, close the roller supports with the corresponding screws. At present, you can put the roller under tension by removing the blocking fork situated at the far end of this. Gently roll up the shutter. 
You may now install the tracks. Identify the right from the left and slide them on so as to have the groove opposite the side panels in the case of standard tracks. In our case, that is to say overlapping tracks, do the same things while conserving the groove just above your header. Fix them onto the mounting of the opening, taking care to use countersunk screws so as not to hinder manoeuvres. Now, close the shutter until compression of about a third of the bottom waterproof seal and position the blocking strikers at the far end of the bar. Drill and fix them by using the clinches in the packet of accessories. Now, you only need to prepare your drip channel with its top seal for fixing onto your header. Remove the plastic caps as well as the strip seal and drill. Adjust your top seal by starting to cut it on one side on an angle of 60 degrees. Then, measure and cut it once again to the dimension of the width of the outside track of your shutter, minus two times the thickness of the tracks. In other words, 34 millimeters. Center the seal on your drip channel and stick it onto the back. Present the old drip channel top seal straddling between your header and track screws. In this way, your seal will be in an ideal position to scrape the shutter when maneuvering. Fix it and put the strip seal and plastic caps back. You may now powder a little silicon onto the tracks if necessary. Your shutter is now installed and ready to use. End of installation of products ALU30, ALU40, fitting from the outside.